Hi, my name is Marie-Claire saint and I'm a choral composer. I work in Montreal in Canada, but I am Franco-Ontarian. I come from Ottawa, which is in Ontario. And I, uh, there's something that I absolutely have been really pushing to do during the past few years. And that is writing French music. Not necessarily French music with a, a flair that sounds like French music like Debussy or Ravel or all these things, but really just music that has French text that is current to my culture, my situation, and others around me from all the North American cultures that are French speaking. What happens very often in these situations is that we'll, we'll want to program music that represent these cultures. And inevitably we end up, we end up programming a lot of traditional music. So for example, for me coming from Canada, it'll be a lot of French Canadian traditional music, uh, a lot of it being just arrangements. But the truth of the matter is, is that a lot of us would like to sing French content that has all the good stuff that is similar to all the wonderful new music that the choir world has been getting in English. So that means music that has text that has a lot of beautiful imagery, texts that discuss challenging issues, um, mature subjects, and things like this. So I have made it a little bit of mission of mine to just search as much as I can and try to find poetry that has all these good things, but in French. The difficulty with that is they're hard to find. And I finally figured out that I can't just look in the public domain. I have to go and look with collections of poetry by living poets. That has turned into something extremely interesting because now I get to contact poets, living poets, and ask them questions about their poetry. And it really turns into a collaboration. And so I'm really happy with all of these these French pieces I've been man I've managed to compose recently, uh, because there's that that current live essence in them, and I'm just really happy to share them. So, one piece I'd like to talk to you about today is Terre Neuve, which originally was an SATV piece, but I've rewritten it as an SSAA piece for Electra Women's Choir in Vancouver, who got to premiere it. And for those of you who don't know, the literal translation of that is not New Earth. It is the translation of the name of one of our provinces in Canada called Newfoundland. And there in the Maritimes, it's a big giant rock. Actually, the nickname of Newfoundland is The Rock. So the piece itself was commissioned by the National Youth Orchestra of Canada. So yes, the orchestra, not the choir. And their, their plan was to have this piece, and their plan, it, it succeeded, to have this piece as an encore piece. So it had to be written for musicians, so untrained voices, but with a fairly high musical skill. So the ranges aren't too big. It's for SATB because it was a mixed orchestra, obviously. And uh, it had to have enough energy so that when the choir rose, the choir, the orchestra rose after their, their final piece, they'd be standing and then they could just burst into song and really catch everybody into it. So I had to find a poem that was Canadian because they were touring around Europe too and had some sort of really interesting energy. It had to be positive. And when I came across this poem, I couldn't help but just fall in love with it. It has a lot of raw power in it and you can feel, well, you have to know Newfoundland a little bit. It really is, we call it the rock because it's just in the middle of the ocean and it's really craggy and it's full of, of that kind of latent energy that's within the, the earth itself. And I find that Annick in her poem really, really showed that, that energy. It's very present and it just attracted me. So what I found really fun with the poem is that she takes the name Newfoundland. It's in French, of course, so Terre Neuve, and she, sp she splits it in two. She starts the poem with Terre, which is land. She finishes the poem with Neuve, which is new, but we will say Newfound 
which is how she uses it also in her English translation of it. So you kind of have the whole description of Newfoundland sandwiched within the name Newfoundland, or in the French version, Terre Neuve. And within the middle too, there's a good description of, of the rock itself and because it's the nickname of Newfoundland, what I did is I have this musical element, the way that we say terre, the musical element comes back again at the ending, so bookends, but I also bring it back when we talk about the actual rock itself. So there's a little bit of that little Easter egg inside it. I'm maybe a little too proud of that. Uh, the first line in French is terre éclaboussée du cri d'un soleil. Now, translation is land splattered with shrieks of sun. That's wonderful alliter alliteration, but in French éclaboussé is splattered. And so I just open up the whole piece after doing the whole heavy stately terre, when I get into éclaboussé, just the word itself, éclaboussé, éclaboussé. So I have different sections just saying éclaboussé back and forth so you kind of feel splashed by it. There's a lot of fun to be had with these words. Um, there's another wonderful section where uh, there's a description of glacier breaking. And I think this is obviously my favorite part. So I lead up to it to bring the tension in and everything. And once we get to the actual word where the cracking ice happens, so craquement de glace, cracking ice, I have the choir say the CR of craquement and just hold on to it, cr, cr, which we do in French Canadian slang. Um, and so it sounds like cracking, but on top of that, right after, if anyone has heard how a glacier breaks, it's not just a snap, you've got this kind of really deep boom before you then hear the snap of the ice breaking. And the obvious way to do that was to get everybody to stomp and clap. And I have a lot of fun with that section where the whole glacier is just falling apart. And out of that, within the poem then, there's a description of how from that broken ice, there's this, uh, let me find my words here. There's, there's a shrouded memory that mingles with the wind and then spirals with the salt of a new joy. And so I just take up from the clapping and the breaking and I take the fresh snow and I go softly and then I just bring it more and more and more into the joy of this new memory, having, having a new life. And uh, it was just absolute fun to write. This is only one of my pieces that are French, that are not necessarily traditional in the way that it's written, but it definitely reflects French Canadian culture in what it is today. And you can find more on my website with the link below, or uh, you can definitely contact me through the website too. You can ask me any questions about this score, about other scores that are there, and I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer. Yeah.